You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, there are over 35,000 listeners on the line with us tonight. Oh my goodness, you're going to break the internet. But it's all good, right? Because we can house all of you guys, so no worries there, right? And no pressure, of course. So, what I want to say to you guys is the power and the value of information. We are now operating in an information economy. So you say, Dini, what does that mean? Does that mean that material things are no longer important? No, of course not. Material things are still vital. What we mean by an information economy is that we define and create value based on information content rather than a physical property. Like in, in the inf- information economy, the information content is what gives value to most products and services. The most extreme example is probably like the silicon computer chip. The chip itself is very small. The materials contained in it are very little value. The uh, cost to manufacture this thing is very small. The thing that gives this computer chip its value is the information. The information that went into designing and producing the chip and the information processing ability of the chip itself. But it's not just in high tech world that information plays a key role. Um, let's, let's say for instance, like back in 2003, I worked for Russell Simmons with Def Jam and Fat Form as a touring manager. Now, along my career there, I came across a lot of acts that got signed based on the units sold in a physical store, like brick and mortar store, you know, if you're into retail. But that was the key back then in the early 2000s. I was fresh out of uh, college, yeah, fresh out of college and off of a record deal myself. Um, But fast forward to now, okay? People are assigned based off of the information, the image, the, the numbers, the fans interaction you don't even have to sell one unit to get signed these days all you have to do is prove that your fans interact with you and will do as you say right yeah a few likes here well i would say a few a couple of hundred likes here a couple of hundred reposts here you know the views doesn't necessarily mean anything nowadays you can't impress CEOs and executives and a rs with big numbers anymore. You know what they go? They go straight to the comments. What are the consumers or the potential fans are saying about this music or this person or this image? What are they saying? That's the key is fan interaction. And that's how people are getting signed these days. No matter if they can sing or rap, it doesn't even matter. Or play an instrument. As long as the fans are you know, getting into, you know, the image and the music itself, right? And I heard an ad the other day on the radio for a car leasing company. The company was making money by arranging leases on cars. However, the value of their product came in the information content. They advertised that they would find the lowest price on the car you wanted and provide you with all the reports, the ratings, the magazine articles available on the models that you were interested in. They may be in the car leasing business, but their product and the way they, uh, you know, distinguish themselves from other competition was pure information. Every business, no matter how high tech or low tech, can benefit from the uh, from the use of information to be competitive in today's market, in today's industry, in today's music, in today's uh, modeling and uh, acting world. You must know how to find, process, and utilize the right information. 
It is the new form of leverage. So look for ways to improve what you do through the use of information. Take it from Dini Mussolini. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, it feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos and starseeds, and two times for my people who are vegans. We are averaging over 34,000 plus listeners, and we've been at this for three solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we're still growing, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, movies, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on the show from Grammy Award winning artists, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology geniuses, visual artists, from authors to professors and aliens. Or people think they're aliens. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book an interview or just to share a real cool story. Email me at vradio at only one media group dot com. I'm passionate about what I do, just as passionate about what you do, and together, yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it so let's create something incredible and with that hello out there and welcome to another episode of our podcast vigilantes radio thank you again as always for tuning in and being a part of our audience family you know the number to dial it's 701-801-9813 to connect with us or our guests or you can hop in and mix directly from my website, which is only one mediagroup.com. Scroll over to the Vigilantes Radio tab and slap that go live button, and you'll be right here live in the mix with all of us or in the chat room. So feel free to shoot over some questions to ask or guess while they are here. And as always, all episodes are available for free download. You can grab that from spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, the app called Podcast Addict, or over at our website. And that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired. Well, I don't want to keep 35,000 of you guys waiting any longer, all right? So let's go ahead and dive deep into this interview. And tonight's interview is the mob interview. That's right, the Northside mob interview. Yeah. And I am your host, Dino Mussolini. So, um, uh, for a lot of people, some things can be weird and then for a lot of other people like me you see some things that's the normal so when I seen the picture I always look at the picture first the image first before I I listen to any music or uh, do any research and uh, the image alone you know intrigued me so I went ahead went on YouTube watched the videos and man this is right up my alley this is the kind of music I like to vibe and you know ride to and turn up to right yeah, the Northside Mob are, are the mob. So we have them here tonight, and we are the people who have dedicated their weekdays and nights to music, movies, news, business ventures, conspiracies, and just talk in every aspect. From our incredible writing and promotion here on our, our Facebook page, which is uh, pretty brand new here, uh, to our interview and music show, The Vigilantes Radio, or the dive into relationships, money, music business theory, and spiritual living on my other show called Skeptics. So we spend each and every day giving our maximum effort to create a vibrant, exciting indie community community for all these creative minds that coexist in this beautiful artistic world. So we like to thank the mob uh, so much for taking some time to talk with us. Um, these guys have got one incredible testimony. So there's a great, you know, a great deal of music and the size and amount of information. I was able to find out a lot about them. Um, but the really awesome thing for us is that they are here with us live. So that's not only awesome for the, their fans, but awesome 
for our listeners as well who might not know them yet and I, I really appreciate hearing like the backstories of authors and writers and singers artists entrepreneurs and just people in general you know when it comes to how they got to where they are in life now even I have an incredible story yeah but we're not here for Danny so you guys will have the, oppor- uh, the opportunity to hear you know these stories and everything and uh, they'll have an opportunity here to tell us their entire story um, and let let us in on the real mob you know all the people who are involved in it and all that which is very cool in my opinion anyhow for the moment um, welcome guys to the show how are you doing and how are you feeling yeah. What's up? What's up? So, you know, there's there's 35,000 listeners. So let them know uh, who all we got on the line with us tonight. You got Cash, Rome, I'm, I'm Shake, I'm King, and you got Queen. All right, four out of five, huh? No, we got five. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Man, you guys are rocking it right now. I'm so glad that you guys are, are here with us. Um, I was very impressed uh, with the, the uh, music and the music videos. So, like I said, man, you guys are rocking it right now. The image is dope as well. So, for the moment, what would you say the life of the mob is all about right now at this moment? Sorry, man. It's, it's amazing. You know, it's... Um Hard working. Yeah, it's, it's a blessing to do it with like your, your your brothers and sisters and everybody that's been there with you. You know, it's the beginning. It's only the beginning. You know, and we just working hard and, and doing it. Uh, all, yeah. all work, no play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Doing it with the Now. Before the before the mob was formed, you guys were rocketing in two separate groups. Like all the boys were in a group, and then the two uh, the two sisters were in a group, right? Yeah. And uh, from what I seen too, you guys were killing it separate, and then you know you finally came together, which um, turned out to be great as well. So you know, we're, yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, like I said, man, we're honored to have you guys here on the podcast tonight. So thanks so much for sharing your time. I know time is precious and uh, and for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, so, oh, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. So we know you you're, you guys are somewhat new to our side of the Internet. Uh, we've also read and know this is a, a pretty exciting time for your group, the mob. You know, there's a fantastic mixtape called uh, Watchtower, which I'll go over later on in the show. Um and it's loaded with like 12 tracks and it, you know the titles are intriguing the artwork is intriguing but before we get into all that let's start uh at the top you know on the road getting here and it may not have been an easy one whatsoever but let us in on um the details and how did it all start what's the history the highs the lows how did it all lead to where you are now with your careers well first you know you already know that we were two separate groups and then we knew that in order for us to make it, we had to move out of our city. So we chose Atlanta. We chose Atlanta, man. We had to um, go ahead and get a whole new scenery of of a vibe. Atlanta really gave us a whole different vibe. We started as the two separate groups, and we just knew that both of us was missing something. Mm-hmm. You know, like also, also with that said, we have the hype that we got on it. Yeah. yeah, moving to another, you know, region as I know is a pretty big move for, for some. Some don't make it, you know. It's actually hard. We came here for nothing. Like, we yeah, came here, here. Nothing. just one day we just got up and yeah. emptied our bank account, yeah. everything. Just, I just bounced our bank account. Came here just to get up and go, like. Got here, couldn't find no job. Yeah. yeah. It was a, it was a long process. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad to be here. I mean, when you got your brothers and sisters, the only thing you can do is work. Together. It's all love. Yeah. Wow, man, I'm like super impressed with you guys. Super impressed. Thank you. Thank you. 
So, um, so you guys were two separate groups, and then you formed the mob, moved to Atlanta, and, and now you're here now. So, but let, let's talk about the transition though, because I've heard I heard some videos where you guys were rapping, but then when I got my notes, it said that you guys were R and B group. And I was like, hold on, there's a video they're rapping. <laughs> And now they're singing. So do y'all still rap or is it a mix of the two? It's a mix of the two. We do it all. We do it all. It comes where from being just a rap singer. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. And, and, and it, I mean, music runs in our bloodline. So it's not just rapping or singing. It's all, it's, it's everything. We write, we dance, we do it all. Yeah. Form, everything. Wow, wow. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed by the rapping. I was like, okay, okay, they go hard. And then, you know, the singing, like, dang, they all got voices, too. Like, I don't think I, I don't think it get any better than you guys. Oh, man, that's a big compliment, man. Thank you. Yeah, man, I just got to keep telling you guys I'm, I'm super impressed. And I can't wait to see where you take it. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to take it where nobody else will ever want. Yep. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So, now on, on the business side, though, how do you map it out in your day to day or week over week operations and progression for success? Well, it's, 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 it's no sleep. It's no sleep. Like, you go to work, you get off work, and you, you, you back to it, you like home, you practice your music, right? Rehearse. Yeah. Everything. So, we might, we might come home. We might not even have nothing to eat. Like, just noodles in the crib. Yeah. Eat. You didn't work. start working. You might not get no sleep. Like, yeah. you go to work the next day. Like, and it's all work. Job. It's for fun. You know, for fun and everything. And so. Everybody's schedule is different. Every, is different. the same. Everybody's schedule is different, so. It's, it's all about compromise and working together. Yeah. And communication. Communication. Wow. Yeah. Dang. But still, all right, so you guys are in Atlanta doing music, and and we know there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of artists and groups and whatnot in Atlanta. What is your plans to stay, you know, creative with new innovative ways of doing your music in today's industry? We create our own lane. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we ain't trying to everybody else's lane yeah. we are on create your we create our own way you know and we writing it you feel me yeah. 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 like everybody today is trying to be in us is what we love yeah. Yeah. music for you to understand that for you to understand that you have to understand that music is alive it's really breathing like it can change the mood you can be mm-hmm. sad and then you can get hyped, hyped and be ready to party. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you, make you want to cry. It makes you want to cry. Make you want to just chill. Make you want to make you wanna just chill. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just a lot. Yeah. Will we get some of those emotions on the mixtape? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Actually, all emotions. All yeah. emotions. Yeah. Every track got an emotion. It can get you feeling some type of way. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I downloaded the I downloaded the mixtape from Dat Piff. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, but I have a long road trip tonight, so I, that's what I'll be bumping. Oh, on. Oh, 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 oh. I guarantee you'll be up the whole time. Yeah. 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 And guys, uh, I've also put the link in the description of the show, so if you want the mixtape as well, hit the link. I did all the work for you guys, so no sweat, and thank me later. Check that out. All right, now, you know, we're, we're basically talking business. So one of, one of the main things, and I'm sure you guys have come across it in everyday life, and I don't know if I can recall a situation personally that involved contracts and family. I'm not so sure if they really mix well because money can bring out the demons or, the, or a personality that a person conceals. But then again, I guess it really depends on the people and their morals and judgment, respect and loyalty. Like that goes for me and my younger brother. We both co-own a fitness system and business and we have no contracts that say half of this belongs to you, half of this belongs to me. You take care of this, you take care of this. Because our word is bond, and that's just the way we were raised. Are you guys currently under contract with each other? And what's your views on all of this? Oh, no. 
don't know what's mine is his and what's his is hers. It's all loyal. I'll put it into the pot to put it together ourselves. Yeah, the contract is blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got we got to own for each other. Yeah. It's mine ain't, it ain't going nowhere. And just like you said, it's based it's on like how how we raise and yeah. who's raised. You know, stick together, be together, you can't break that. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to the OG. Shout out to the OG. Shout out to the back of the Dope. Dope, dope, dope. So, we know Atlanta is, is a home for you guys, but is it a good home for you guys? Atlanta's treating as well. It's true. All right, another elephant in the room we got to address. All right, you know, <laughs> Crime Mob was also from the ATL. Um, I think a few of them are still around doing their thing. Uh, do you feel like um, this puts a potential cap on how successful you might be in certain areas in the world or overall? No. Most, most, most definitely not because that was a whole different era. That was a whole mm-hmm. different group and that was a whole different vibe. And that was a whole different style. This is, this is all love here. This is loyalty. This is blood. This is if you listen to our music, you can tell how much this is the North Side mob and not the crime mob. Yeah. yeah we from the North Side. And on top of that, on top of that, we wasn't put together. We've been doing this with each other since we've been doing music. Even when we were separate, we were still writing together. Like yeah. everything we always did, was always together. And then the North Side and the whole movement of the North Side is basically like you know how like they got the West Side, you know, even got East Side. We put on like. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Do anybody ever confuse you guys with the crime mob? No. <laughs> That's another good thing. <laughs> All right. So they were dope. They were dope. They were dope. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Knuckling your butt was like the the theme song for fighting somebody. <laughs> yeah, I remember riding uh, deep in the car, you know, listening to Knuckling's Buck on the way to go beat somebody down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Before you know, they start digging it back into my past. But anyway, so perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there's a moment or a couple of standout moments that really resonated within you and continue to inspire you to this day. So tell us about some highlight accomplishments that you had along the way. Tell us a story or two. Okay. Well, I want to first, I don't know if you had this, but moving was an accomplishment. Like, we, we dug deep and we got to know ourselves. Like, we find who we are as a person, who we are as a group. Our writing process grew like we got in the studio, we made a mixtape, we dropped videos, like we worked real hard. Like, in a city that's all played though, like we in a city where there's stuff to do every day, all day. So for you to be able to focus, really read yourself, actually a blessing for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Distractions are real. Man. Yeah. Let's take it back to Michigan. We can take it back. We can take it back to Michigan. All right. So, lyrically, what is the tone and the mood of the songs on the Watchtower mixtape? It's saucy. We just make saucy tracks. There's not one mood that's the same on the mixtape. All 12 tracks are all the
Yeah. Different story. So you're not going to get the same melody, the same yeah. tone with one person. You're going to get different types of priorities. Yeah. 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 And you guys know what? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, uh, and, that, and that's exactly how the mixtape is. All our tones are unique. The music is all different. Like, like, I, like we said, you might want to chill. You might want to get hyped. You, you might, might want to do a breakup. Yeah, you might, you it's it's everything. Because when we come from, you know, it's we put ourselves in your shoes. Yeah. And it's crazy because when people actually listen to it, they actually put they their self in our stores and just say, I see exactly what they Like, it's crazy that they that seen to me it. Watch how it's recorded. Definitely. Definitely, and I can agree, you know, back to what you guys were saying about the personalities. Um, like, when, when I see the music video, one thing that people always say, there's always a Michael Jackson in the group. But looking at the video, it seems like all of you guys are Michael Jackson. There's five Michael Jackson. So it's like, and then, it, then on another level, it's like, okay, each one of them have their own niche, their own superpower. So it's like the Justice League. You know, you got five superheroes here. You know, and they're all incredible. So I had to do some Facebook stalking. And uh, I seeked every last one of you guys out just to see, you know, is that really, you know, the person that we see in the video? And true enough, you guys are true to yourselves, true to your image. So I want to, you know, again, uh, uh, commend you guys for that, for being so incredible and true to yourselves. Thank you. I appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. So, was there a definite plan when you guys sat down, or did you guys sit down to choose the beats for this mixtape? Did you guys plan it at all, or was it just, uh, we just go with the flow type of thing? We'll just sing in the living room. We'll just play all the beats and just each other and just make different type of songs. Playing around. We can freestyle, we can we can make a we can make a song in one night. Like it's like it's the vibe that it's the vibe, it's how you feel. It's about all how you feel. Definitely. And every time it's gonna get come back different. Like, you know, get the same thing. It's really not It's not It's just Dope, dope. So, how was the decision-making process behind the recording? Was it tough, easy? Like, you guys got five strong opinions in the group. How did how did the process go? Actually, surprisingly, we all actually do not bump heads when it comes to that. It's actually very easy to record and... Like put together how we want to put together our track because even though we five different minds, our vision are, are, are similar. Different. Similar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That has to be incredible. Like there are some people I'm not even related to that I bump heads with in the studio. <laughs> Man, you guys got the harmony for real. <laughs> wow. Okay. So once Watchtower was finally done, mixed and mastered, were you all able to look at each other and know beyond a doubt that you all nailed these songs? Oh yeah. yeah. I knew we nailed these songs when we first wrote them. When we first wrote them, it's like, and then we rehearsed them, and it's just like, yeah, these songs are so hard. Yeah. All right. How did you guys know when to stop at twelve, though? Oh, we still going. It was hard. It was hard. Well, like, like, dang, should we put this one on here, like, that one like, here, like, we uh, should put these two on here, like, yeah. And then we come up with another track, it's like, dang, yeah, I think this should go on here. Yeah. Oh, dang, so there's more in the arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, don't worry. Okay. Okay. So we get off the phone with you, we go right back. Oh, yeah, go right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when we get the new tape, are you going for an EP or album next? We're trying to do an album. We're trying to do all, to be honest. 
dope, dope, dope. And and how long did it take to put uh the watchtower together? Probably, it wasn't that long actually. It, it wasn't really long. It was a season as well. Because so. yeah. it, it, it's like our baby. He has to cradle it. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you guys can cover a lot of ground as far as like promotions, management, stuff like that. Um, do you play any other additional roles for the group? Um, at the end of the day, we're an independent group, so we do cover everything as far as our business aspect, as far as like us pushing ourselves or us, our mom in a studio time and her speaking with different type of people. Our moms are managers too. Yeah. Yeah. Our mom, she's behind the music. She she does it all for us. Yeah, that's boss lady. That's boss lady. Black queen right there. She. So deep. So, they call those momagers. No, yeah. <laughs> he hates to be called. Like that. She boss lady. That's boss lady. Boss lady. That's even better. And y'all keep referring to her as queen. That that is so beautiful. Call your mother yeah. Queen on a consistent basis, and then you have a group member named Queen as well. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, so they do. she's like Queen Junior. <laughs> yeah. I guess you say that. I'm, 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 All right. So when songwriting, how easily do you find your emotions <laughs> translate into the music? Uh, to be honest, we take beats freestyle, like just the, yeah, the music, the beats tell us the story. Yeah. We just respond to it. He might say something like, "Hey, did you just say that to her?" It's a lot like it's in our blood. Definitely. <laughs> We go tell you the story. Yeah. You just gotta listen. to yeah, it. Yeah. Or we don't come at the yeah. beat like we don't. We don't. We go against the. Yeah. Exactly. We go against the story. Definitely. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, the the beats and having like so many people on a record only gives you, you know, so much time to say what you really feel. Are you guys, you know, making the point to fully express yourself in this music? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like talking to each other. Cool. We are. We have to be able to say thank you for all we got to say. Yeah. And you're making sure it's happening. Like it ain't really no no parts. Ain't no yeah. It's not like everybody like going in, going after yeah. It's like we know when each other's supposed to come in. Right. Wow. That's dope. All right, guys. Those websites. We better get those from you. Where do you want people to go find you? Oh, man. Every website you can think of. <laughs> 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 At Mob like, or North Stop. You can also find us on Twitter. Yeah. Northside underscore, underscore Mob. It's on Facebook. At Northside 6 OB. And that's what yeah. So you got everything you need, man, for your road trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually I got both mixtapes. The first one oh. and, and Watchtower. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I like to watch how people grew, you know, with their musical skills, where they were at. 
Guys were dope when I seen you guys all were wearing black, like almost black trench co- trench coats. Yeah, we were black. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all black. Okay, those vampires here. Now you talking my language. You talk to aliens, you talk to some vampires. <laughs> All right. I'm about to add that to the show. If people think they're right. aliens and vampires. <laughs> nah, I love it. So, what's your favorite way to connect with fans through social media? And are you online often and accessible to the average fan or even somebody reaching out to collab? We own all the sites. On every we, site. Everywhere. We, uh, we like to go live for our viewers. We yeah. all together and we can we like to go live and just like to pipe out with everybody. Like, we like to chill with charge just how we chill with each other. Yeah. So, like, every Sunday, we like, 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 yeah, I watched a few of the live videos, man. They were cool. Like, like I said, I did a little stalking. Well, I mean, let me let me change that. I did some, I did some extensive research. <laughs> okay. You call it. You call it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, listeners, just in case you didn't get those links, I have all those links in the description of the show. I did all the work. All you gotta do is click. Thank me later. All right. After the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat. And our fans love this part of the segment. And, of course, along with the actual interview, but the artists get to hear either some vocals, a poem, inspirational speech, spoken word, maybe the mob will freestyle for us, tell us a joke. I don't want a joke. I really want to freestyle rap. But anyway, uh, or a story or maybe some live instruments for our special guests. Well, you never know what these creative minds and vessels will produce in the spotlight. And tonight we'll find out if the mob have what it takes to be put on the spot, a test of their true artistry, and maybe even some hidden talents. But for right now, we have the mob fire. I'm about to go grab another brewski and I'm about to turn up to this track. Hopefully I'll be back on time. Here we go. Gonna bring us down, 
But can't nobody put us out No one can save us now Look what they saying now They say the mind we on fire We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up, I'm on fire They say the mind we on fire We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up, I'm on fire We got that fire Fire. When I coach, you can see ya. You think I'm Arabian? I got a magic touch. We was raised by some aliens. Got that on, that on, that fire. That rock that killed Goliath. That back to your Mariah. Move your spot, return, retire. Oh man, man. none of the name is up in the info. Them I try to get into our friend zone. Don't fuck with me now because we the shit. All I need is my new that I can't wear. Then I'm looking for the kids that we here. Just look how we run in the full jungle. Got me beating on my chest, ready to rumble. You ain't real team, man, what you come for? Say me and my little squad ghosts. And me and my little firm so sweet. Running track speed on the breeze. You never catch up from all this heat. I, I have float like a dragonfly. And I cry like a viper. There will never, ever, ever be another M.O.B. like us Didn't they say don't have fuel to the fire Now the flames getting higher and higher And here comes the fire department And they was gonna bring us down But can't nobody put us out No one can save us now Look what they saying now They say the mind we on fire We struck it up like a lighter we spark it up like a lighter. We spark it up, I'm on fire. They say the mind we on fire. We spark it up like a lighter. We spark it up like a lighter. We spark it up, I'm on fire. We got that fire, that fire, that fire. We got that fire, that fire, that fire. They say the mind we on fire. We spark it up like a lighter. We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up, my on fire Didn't they say don't have fuel to the fire Now the flames getting higher and higher And here comes the fire department And they was gonna bring us down But can't nobody put us out No one can save us now Look what they saying now Yo, man, that track was fire Yeah that will never, ever, ever be an MOB like us. Dope. Hey, they put the challenge out there so all you other MOBs, if you're listening, not just playing. <laughs> It'll be one hell of a battle anyway, right? Of course. And you know what? They didn't even say Dini no freestyle spot at the end there. You know how when a dope record goes off, you kind of catch the little last four or eight bars there. You little spit your little freestyle. They didn't leave me none. How stingy of them. But they were still rocking it. And no hard feelings my way because it's a cool track right favorite part of the video is when they did like the beatles rendition of walking across the street you gotta catch that if you're a music fan or music head like me anyway so yeah dope record find success by doing what you love bill gates say in an interview on a cd room that accompanies uh, that accompany uh his new book and it says or he said i got the greatest job in the world and because he feels that way about his work, he has amassed a personal fortune of around 15 billion and built one of the most influential and successful companies in the world today. When you're doing what you love, I've heard somebody once say, you never work. Same with this, uh, this podcast. I started out with one listener for a very long time. One freaking listener. But hey, shout out to Angelica for sticking with the kid. And now we have over 34,000 listeners. Yeah, I went a full year making no bread. What are you doing, Dini? Hey, I'm following what I love to do, following my heart. I was losing money because I was investing so much into this podcast. And now here we are today 
with abundance, with wealth, and we're doing other things in life because we stick to what we know, we stick to what our heart tells us, and we stick to what we love doing, which is, you know, talking to artists, you know, talking to actors and models and, and, and celebrities and finding out the stories behind these music, what drives them to keep going, to keep uh, at this inspiration that keeps them awake at night. If you're like me, you can't sleep when you have so many great ideas running through your brain and you just can't wait to get up the next day to make it happen. Or at least to try to make it happen because that's, that's the only thing we can do is get up and try to make it happen. And, you know, you let the chips fall where they go. You know, put a little elbow grease in it and grind to the bone because this is what you believe. I believe in this podcast, so I guess a lot of you guys believe in it too. And that's what's up. And I definitely appreciate you guys because I wouldn't be here without you guys. Actually, I would. I would still have my one listener. That is okay because I love doing this. <laughs> right? And now we make money from it, which is very cool. All right. So you won't just find anyone who has achieved mass success by doing something that they hate. Uh-uh. To achieve success, you must find something that you absolutely love to do. Something that you cannot not do and do it well. Do it with passion, with excitement, with enthusiasm, and with a healthy obsession. If we can say it, do it the mob way, right? Do it the north side mob way. Yeah, a lot of passion, a lot of talent. That is not to say that you must become a workaholic or a vampire, because when you find something that you absolutely love to do, it's not work. It's fun. Like they said, as soon as this interview is over, they, they're going to be cooking up some stuff for us, and I'm excited about it. Obsession with making money creates workaholics. Focusing on limitation creates workaholics. Don't focus on making money because you'll be working. Who wants to work? Not me. Focus instead on creating your dream job and doing what you love to do the most. If it's music, do it. You'll never work again. The money will come, but it's only one measure of success. Success is always measured by what makes you happy. Not making it on the Forbes list, which is cool, but if that's not what's going to make you happy now, then that is not success. Success is being able to do your music, to put it out, and have people come up to you or hit you on the internet and say, man, you guys rock. I'm a fan of you. I appreciate what you're doing. I want to do what you do now. That's what it's all about. That's true success, right? You will fulfill your potential and make your unique contribution to the world. You'll grow into the person who you are meant to be. That's the important part, you'll grow. And that is worth far more than any check that anyone could write you. I believe Mark Twain said, the secret of success is making your vocation your vacation. Successful people are on a permanent vacation. Take it from me, I'm I'm telling you man, I get up when I wanna get up, and I go to bed when I want to get to go to bed. Nobody tells me what time I have to be somewhere. And it's so lovely. I have so much time to spend with my kids. Yeah. Nobody can take that away from me. Right? So, like I said, uh, successful people are on a permanent vacation, not because they don't work hard, but because they love what they do. The other night on the radio, a caller to a talk show was asked, what would you do if you won the lottery? And her reply was that she would never work another day in her life. And it makes me very sad to hear something like that. It is sad to think that there are people who hate what they're doing. They'll never get anywhere with an attitude like that. And it's sad to think that the ultimate goal in life would be to not work. Can you imagine anything more empty? Think of a moment how that would be never like contributing anything of value to anyone or any or anything. And I, I, truthfully, that was me about three years ago. A uh, business owner uh, of a retail store. Like 50 hours a week. Who does that? And I used to be on tours. I was doing tours, albums out, all this kind of cool stuff. And I'm here uh, running this, you know, hometown shop with about four employees. Yeah, yeah, I was a boss or whatever. But all of my time went into maintaining this building and make sure an employee's morale stay up, all right? Uh, as my other dreams sat in the corner collecting dust. 
And, you know, a lot of times in life we do that. We go work for other people, helping their dreams to stay alive while ours are sitting in the corner collecting dust. Or, you know, a hit record sitting on a hard drive that nobody will ever hear. It's very sad. It almost makes me cry. Not really, but you get the point. It makes me sad. Can you imagine anything more empty? Like Bill Gates could retire today and live a life of leisure and almost unimaginable luxury. He has amassed a fortune that will last for thousands of lifetime, and yet he still works very hard. That says a lot about the values and attitude that got him to where he is today. If your goal is to get to the point where you will never have to work again, perhaps you should examine the nature of your work. Hating what you do will probably not get you very far. Take a like, like look at Lil Wayne. He says he works so hard, he's working so hard to make these records. It's really not about the money for him. Not really, if you, if you really listen to how he talk about his music. The guy's in love with his music, and that's what you got to do. That's the work, is just pushing yourself to be a better version of yourself, or be better than you was yesterday, or last week, or last month, or last year. That is success. Those are milestones there. So find a way to love your work, and you'll immediately have true success. Take it from Jeannie. But for right now, let's bring the group of the hour back on here. The mob, you're now in our hot seat. What do you have for us? Hey, that's crazy. You beat the Beatles. You beat the Beatles. You beat the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. I love it. We all. So we uh, we gonna give you some vocals. You ready? That's cool too. That's cool. You ready? All right. All right. You may say I'm after you to the fire. Now the flames getting higher and higher. And here comes the fire department. It was gonna burn you. But can't nobody put us out No one can save us now Look what they're saying now They say tomorrow we on fire Spark it up like a lighter Spark it up like a lighter Spark it up like a fire They say tomorrow we on fire We spark it up like a lighter We spark it up like a lighter we fucking up like a fire. We got that fire. That fire, that fire. We got that fire. That fire, that fire. They say tomorrow we on fire. We fucking up like a lighter. We fucking up like a lighter. We fucking up like a lighter. Oh, beep. Oh, sounds just like the song. <laughs> <laughs> wow Man I think you guys are going to become my favorite group now Oh man You are motivational bro Words and beat Thank you guys Thank you Thank you now, um, so I'm also intrigued by not only images but artwork. So I want to talk about that for a second. So if you look at guys, if you go look at the artwork, um, you'll see like a watchtower, and they appear twice on this cover. Um, the first time they appear, they're like they're standing right in front of the, this watchtower, and the second image of them is like they're walking through like a valley of shadow of death type of thing. So yeah, they're doing they're doing the Buddha. So do you guys care to explain this imagery to us, or to me rather? So our room, I made this, I made every picture that my brother King has sent to me. I pretty much took pictures from the fire uh, video and I put them all together. At, the reason it's so unique is because it's the watchtower race. Mm-hmm. Think of the watchtower, watchtower is like the detectives and they watch over the kingdom. They watch the outside post not supposed to be here. So yeah. That's why if you look at it, 
Which is we watch we all are watching of our family, of our king. Yeah. Of, you know, of each other. Yeah. Each other's protection. You know how like they like back in the day they used to mourn and go tell the kings and queens like when we were going on. And it's like we are the we children are the and they're watching. Yeah, and we up for battle. That's yeah, and that's, we, that's where the value of the shadow of death come in because that's us from battle back home. Yeah. The watch how you up here. Wow. Um, come back again. Dope, dope, dope. All right, now I want to talk about some of the uh, the song titles here, like Dark Alliance. What is that about? Oh, you gotta listen. Okay. You, gotta listen. you gotta listen to it. You gotta listen to that one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Gotta listen to that one. All right, all right. Can I guess? Is it about like vampires and you know darkness? We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't tell you, you gotta listen to it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What about uh? What about Jezebel? Oh, oh, yeah. right. Gotta listen to that too. I mean, I mean, it explains itself though, Jezebel. Like you know. I mean, like back in the day, like how you got a Jezebel. Like, what is a Jezebel? Jezebel is the one that. That's bad news. That's run the other way. Yeah, they they seduce you. You know they they do. Yeah. I want to give out too much. Okay, 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 okay. That's fair, okay. All right, I got another one. Seven Seas. Oh. <laughs> Seven Seas. Okay. Seven Seas is like a wave. When you listen to it, you get caught. You get caught in the seas. Like, you get caught in the waves. Like, you get caught. Like you gotta ride that way. Like yeah, seven, each, each, each. A, a thing, we thought, we thought about it. We thought hard about it, and we want to yeah. go against the grain with everything that we got. Yeah. Yep. So like when you listen to me, get what you know. Listen to this when you outside the box. Yeah. Outside the box. You understand. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. The last title. Now I just put two and two together, but you know I'm gonna let you guys tell us. So the the first title is called Almighty. What is that about? Almighty is it's the intro. It's the beginning. It's the oh, it's the ritual. It's godly. It's what it's just all together. It's it's a lot. It is it's us. us. Yeah, it's us. Okay, okay. Our, our journey. Our journey. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And lastly, I like to uh, say thank you for your time and your answers. I truly do appreciate you guys. So take this last moment to say anything else at all that you could have possibly wanted to talk about through this interview tonight. By all means, fill any gaps that I might have missed, or feel free to say anything else at all. This is the Vigilantes Radio open floor for you to do just that. Thank you again, my friends. All the best to you guys and your endeavors, and congrats on the success of everything that I know you guys are going to accomplish along the way. When you do, all up Uncle Dini, like, look, we did this, and I'm um, be super proud of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, that's I want to thank all of our supporters out there, yeah. even the people that's listening. Like, thank y'all for real. Yeah, I really noticed. I hope y'all get the chance to listen to us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take this journey with us and yeah, come on, come on along the road with us. Come be a part of the mob. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Do you guys got any gear? Oh, that's sure. Yeah, but that's in the works. That's, yeah, that's in the works. That's in the works too. Got a lot coming. I'm sending you some, yo. <laughs> you gonna get some merch. Cool deal. Yeah, keep me posted. I, I'll definitely support and, 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 and cop one from you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. No doubt. You put something on sale, let me know. I'll cop it. 
uh, tag me in. As a matter of fact, I'm sending all you guys a friend request on Facebook. Uh, let's stay in contact. Uh, definitely show me your growth and, and all the incredible things I know you guys are going to do. For sure, for sure. No doubt. No doubt. Once again, we appreciate you guys for being here on our show. The Mob on Vigilantes Radio. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, the app called Podcast Addict, or our website, which is only one media group.com. And that goes for every single show that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or send something for us to play, email it to the radio at only one media group.com here my disclaimer we are drummer free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show something you got to deal with nah just kidding on behalf of myself Danny Mussolini I appreciate you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring and also special thanks to our guests for joining us we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with us on Facebook Twitter Instagram uh, YouTube Tumblr we are all over just connect with us and we do follow back okay well just remember to be yourself and be absolutely freaking great at just doing that peace Listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.